Alright, so this is going to be just a quick little video, something simple, something short. Uh, I'm just going to be showing off something cool that I found with Cuphead and Cheat Engine. Uh, we're going to show off how to do rapid fire for the pea shooter and the spread shot. And this will work for just about any gun, or gun I guess you could say, in the game. Um, as long as you find the right method in the mono dissector. And I'll explain a little bit about that. Um, I'm by no means an expert with Cheat Engine or Assembly or anything like that. Uh, highly recommend you check out Stephen Chapman's videos. Great series he did on Cuphead and understanding the Mono Dissector. There's a lot of great stuff with Cheat Engine. Um, I, I'm just kind of getting my toes wet here, learning a lot about it still. And I just wanted to show this video of kind of like, you know, something interesting to do. Um, you know, just a cool little experiment and something that actually worked. <laughs> that uh, I found with the mono dissector, and these are these videos are gonna mostly just be like for my own sake, like hey look where I've come all these times because I'm still learning, you know, cheat engine and uh, more about assembly. But um, yeah, Stephen Chapman's videos he does a great series on Cuphead, uh, a great series about just how to use cheat engine and uh, assembly stuff in general with. You know, game-related things. Uh, I'll link his stuff in the description, especially his <laughs> Cuphead series, if I've said that already. Anyways, so we're gonna do rapid fire for these two guns here right now. Uh, I'm gonna assume you know a little bit about Cheat Engine and how to use the Mono Dissector, so I'm not gonna go into too much detail. Um, let's get Cheat Engine going here. Just hook the process. I am not gonna load my table because we're doing this new. Activate mono, mono dissector. All right, so I'm gonna start with the pea shooter since that's the first gun you actually have in the game. So once you get to assembly C sharp, right here, pop that bad boy open if it'll open. And then way down at the bottom, you'll find a bunch of these weapon properties. Now what's super important about the weapon property that you're going to open, uh, a lot of these weapon properties here, uh, at least from what I've seen, a lot of these actually relate to, um, like, the, the icons, things like that, uh, the display names, um, none of this, at least on these specifically titled weapon properties, you know, level weapon things, uh, most of these are not the ones you actually want to use. Um, down here, if you actually see, there's one just called Weapon Spread. So that would be the spread shot. And then up above, we've got the P shot. So you open that guy up. The methods that you're looking for are these guys right here. When you see this uh, rapid fire one, that's the correct one. So we're going to jit that guy. And this move command right here is the fire rate. So just a quick and cheesy, simple way to do this is to just knock everything out. Just knock it and rapid fire. Check that out. Nifty. Um, I mean, you can roll, you know, that into a uh, auto assembly script. You can actually push, you know, a different register and set that fire rate to whatever you want. Um, I'm not going to do that. Just wanted to show that you can do that. So it's just that that simple fire rate command is just going to control the rate of fire for the gun. Kind of neat. Um, I'll also do it for the spread shot real quick just to show that as well. Um, go down to the spread. And spread methods. Again, you're looking for that rapid fire rate. And then, see that? 3.3. Knock this guy out. Boom. Rapid fire. So yeah, just thought that was kind of interesting. Um, definitely a ton you can do with this game. Fascinating. Fascinating, fascinating, fun things you can do with this game. Um, I highly recommend, especially if you're just trying to learn the mono, you know, Unity engine end of doing things with Cheat Engine. This is a great way to start. Once again, big ups to Stephen Chapman. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Love the videos. Uh, anyone watching this one, thanks for watching. And hopefully 
you learn something, maybe. Or you can roll this into a trainer you're making, or whatever the heck. Have a great day. Subscribe if you want. <laughs> See you guys later.